It's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. God is with you, and this situation of yours is going to change. But this show is here to bring hope to the hopeless, to prove to you that there is a solution. Now, on the air with Bishop Joshua. The Showdown of Faith. Wake up, America, the Spirit of God is with you. Wherever you may be watching us, there is hope, there is solution, there is a way out for you. They say that you, you are not going to make it, you are not good enough. They say this is not for you, they say you are worth nothing. However, I'm here to tell you, there is hope for you. God has chosen you. Did you hear me? God has chosen you. You don't need to suffer anymore. You don't need to cry anymore. The days of your tears, your suffering, have come to an end. And you are going to stop suffering. I want to read for you right now the promise of the day. What the Lord has for you. Because God makes no mistake. What he promised is what he does. As it says, God is our refuge and strength. You who are hopeless, powerless, God is your refuge. He is your strength. He is your very present help in trouble. He is your very help, present help in trouble. You are not alone. You are going to be here with us, watching the showdown of faith, and we shall pray for you. Right away, let me show to you the helpline. You are going to call, and I tell you, you are not going to leave a message. You are not going to talk to a machine. Let us try it. Yes, let us try it. Call this number you see on your screen right now, and you are going to talk to my crew. Yes, they are going to take care of you. Call this number. The Lord is your very present help in trouble. Nobody helps you, he does. Nobody wants you, he does. Stay tuned, stay with me. Especially you who suffer from PTSD. You have this trauma inside of you. Events that happened in the past and now you have these flashbacks. Many people have experienced little to moderate trauma in their lifetime. Sometimes, a person can step out of the experience with no long-term effects. But for millions of people, the experiences stay inside of them, causing symptoms such as flashbacks, nightmares, and negative thoughts that bother them every day. This is better known as post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD. We must stop to understand how the brain processes all types of events, including the death of a loved one, domestic violence, injury or illness, abuse, rape, war, car accidents, and natural disasters. These events can oppress us with feelings of danger and helplessness that actually activate an alarm in our brain. While the average person may experience four traumatic events in their lifetime, the average first responder experiences over 200 in their entire career. Unfortunately, time does not heal PTSD. According to experts, your brain has literally rewired the nervous system. One could argue that time makes untreated PTSD worse. 
even the most strong-willed trauma survivors aren't able to will their way away out of PTSD. This is why it is particularly important to seek help. Those of you who find yourself in the same situation, you can begin to call our helpline as you just saw a few moments. The team of faith is there ready to answer your call. You will speak to a live person. They will hear you and also pray for you. Once I have your name and the problem that you're facing, it will be placed here inside of the holy oil. You can also feel free to send your prayer request through text message. If you want to text, that number is one 888 312-4141. Send us your picture. If you have a question, you can also send in your question as well. Bishop Joshua always has his device. You will receive a reply back. You can already prepare a bottle of water, a cup of water, and set it close to your television because before the end of the program, Bishop Joshua will pray for all of you. The device is here on my hands. Give me a call or send me a message. Can you send me the picture of your family? You have a family member suffering from PTSD. Somebody that acts, acts crazy, but this person is not crazy. This person has this mental disorder. I have Mrs. Linda. Hello? Hello? Miss Linda, what is your problem? Yeah. What is bothering you? Okay. I, okay, I got high blood pressure. Okay, the, the Dallas, I go to Dallas. They said I had to go the rest of my life. And I, the, I went to the doctor. The doctor said that I would go blind before I die. This is what the doctor said? That's what the doctor said, yes. Okay. Let me tell you, Miss Linda, the last word belongs to the Lord. We do not disregard what the doctor say. But the last word belongs to God. Doctors, physicians, pastors, bishops, lawyers, we are all human beings. But the Lord is the heavenly being. He is the Holy One of Israel. And He is yes. the one that is going to heal you from this high blood pressure. He is going to make your kidneys to function, to work as better than ever before. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I want. Me, do you, that's do what you I suffer want. from depression? Say that again, sir. Do you suffer from depression? Do you have depression? You feel depressed? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, this depression comes from so many problems. Right, left problem that squeezes you then you end up having this depression. However, Miss Linda, once the solution comes to you, your soul will be refreshed. Your soul will be revived. And you are going to have a life better than a young baby. Because this is, oh, what, yeah. this is what God does. He takes the old, broken life and he gives a new one. Okay. Yes, All right. Yes, yes. All right. Stay on the line for me. Monique is going to write down your information. And Pastor Alex from North Carolina will take care of you. Okay. Stay on the line. God bless you. Have a good one. Bye bye. Good I bye want bye. to show to you here about this PTSD. Usually, a person that suffers from PTSD always says, I am fine. I am good. I am okay. Because you try to cover up the problem. But when you are alone by yourself, the traumas, the memories of the past comes to your mind. You were in the war. You did go to the war. You have those flashbacks in your mind. And you are scared to be alone in the house. You feel like somebody is attacking you. You cannot sleep well. You hear even the noises of the fights there in the war, the gunshots, the gun machine, you have it in your mind. Memories of the traumas come to your mind and unwanted moments. Like when you have, you are supposed to have a good moment, you have this in your mind. The day you were raped, the day that you were 
molested. You have it in your mind. The day of that accident, that sin is still today in your mind. I want to show to you people that like you suffered from PTSD. They had traumas, bad memories, but now all of them are free. These three people, they are free. They are traumas of the past. They are stress disorder is now over. They overcame it. I went through a lot of family problems. So a lot of traumas with my dad, especially. He was a really aggressive person. So the way he taught me like school stuff, it was like hitting me and stuff like that. So he was from his strictness and everything. He was a tough father. So that caused me to um, fall in depression. Like I have, they diagnosed me with PTSD. So that led me later on to hang out with the wrong friends. I'm a United States military veteran. I began to live a very destructive life after returning from Iraq. I had post-traumatic stress. Coming home from Iraq after seeing um, much death, much destruction, um, many people being hurt, American soldiers, I myself began to live a destructive life. My life began to spiral down. One particular day, he pushed me on the bed and um, began to take my clothes off. And um, he put a knife to my neck and um, he forced himself on me. He, um, and he raped me and um, he told me not to tell anybody. Well, after that, we had to go to court and testify about him in front of him. And it was the scariest day of my life. I was so, I was so scared. I was only in um, third grade. My dad had heard the radio. Wake up America, and the spirit. On, it was on New Year's Eve. He said, oh, we're going to a church. And I was like, what church? My dad said, we're going. He never told us where he was taking, what church it was, anything. We got there, I was mad. So I went in not believing at all. I was like, nope, this is not gonna be the solution. So I continue to go, I continue to go. And so as time went by, I started listening a little more, paying a little more attention. So now I don't have any more depression, no more PTSD, no bad behavior. By coming to the Universal Church, has helped me also with my post-traumatic stress has helped me with the anger, the separation, and the depression. It's helped me from all the negativity that I was involved in, and it has given me a clear direction of a future for my life. I was watching Showdown of Faith, and I was, I was up late because I couldn't sleep, and I was just, you know, changing channels, and I saw um, watching Showdown of Faith, and he said he would pray for us. All we have to do is call in. They gave us a number to call in for the prayer. And I called in and they prayed for me and they said they had a church in Chicago. And I'm like, really? Okay. So I called the number and they told me it was right around the corner from my house. <laughs> it wasn't that far. So um, I um, drove to the church and that was like uh, more than, a, it's like more than a year ago now. I don't have low self-esteem anymore. Um, I'm free from feeling like I don't love myself anymore. I love myself and I don't worry about what people say about me. They all overcame PTSD. Do not cry alone. Do not suffer alone. Call us. Come to us for help. Especially you who does this thing. Stop doing it. You have avoiding things, places, or events that reminds you of the trauma. Stop doing it. How long will you be running away from the problem, hiding from the problem? Stop doing this. You avoid people, places that remind you of the traumas, the things that happened in the past. Don't, do not flee from the problem. Face the problem through the power of faith. We have seen, Pastor Márcio, many people fleeing from the problem. 
if you flee from the problem today, it is going to catch you tomorrow. There is no way to flee. You flee today, fine. Tomorrow, later on, the problem will be over there just waiting for you. That's right, Bishop Joshua, like you said, this person needs to see God's power because only his power can solve this problem. The person will move here and there, but the problem will be there. And, and she will continue I'm sorry. suffering. When a person runs away from the problem, flees from the problem, the problem becomes stronger, greater than the person. So you have an opportunity to face, to solve this problem at once. If you do not solve it, this trauma, this stress disorder will grow even stronger. Yes, Bishop. And God is the strongest one. Once the person embraces his faith and decides to fight against this evil, for sure, this problem will be solved and the person will overcome Nori. That is correct. And I do have names of those who are calling the helpline, those who are asking prayer for deliverance, those who are sending their prayer requests through text message. Those of you who have been watching and you haven't called, you can feel free to call right now. I did write down Miss Linda's name and all the problems that she did mention. She spoke to Bishop Joshua not too long ago. Miss Linda, your name is here inside of the holy oil. We have Mrs. Kathy from California. She has been feeling down and depressed. She wants to be set free from depression. We have Mrs. Francis. She is asking prayer for her husband and her family to be restored. And we also have Mr. Larry who is asking prayer for complete and total healing in his body. Mr. Larry and those mentioned, your names are here inside of the holy oil you can call the helpline right now where you will speak to a live person you can send your prayer request through text message as well but speaking about call we do have someone on the line in need of spiritual counseling pastor marcio will help this person right now and also pray for them pastor marcio it doesn't matter how you are what your pain or what your suffering is Jesus Christ is telling you now, speak out, I'm all ears. Yes, we are going to help this person right now. Hello? Hello? Hi, Miss. I know you want to remain anonymous. Can I call you Miss uh, Mary? Yes, sir. Okay, Miss Mary, tell me, what is your problem and how can I help you today? Yes, sir. I suffer from insomnia and depression. I have had a suicidal thoughts. Uh, I have been uh, in a Christian home, but when you get around negative people, it just deflates you. Uh, it takes away everything. But I know God exists. I know he is my power, my strength. I know he gives me everything I need, the breath that I breathe. And I thank you uh, to get help sometimes being by myself. Uh, you need other people to help you. You know that God exists. You know he is the foundation of your life. But sometimes you need people to help you get back on track. You can't do it all by yourself. Miss Mary. Yes, sir. You, you said you believe God is your foundation. He is your strength. Yes, sir. Yes, but he is, is what, sir. Pay attention. This is what we are talking today. We are speaking here today that a person needs to see God's power to overcome these problems. For example, for you, you have been suffering from depression, uh, these suicidal thoughts. So you need to see God's power. You are in need of deliverance. You are in need of deliverance. And the evil one that is behind of this problem, he knows that if you are suicidal, he is bringing these negative people to you because what he wants to do is to kill yourself. He wants you to die. 
But God's power is coming to you right now to transform your life. Because we don't want to hear you say, I believe in God's power. He is my rock, my foundation, but I am depressed. I am suicidal. You are still suffering because of this evil one that is in your life. If God's power is here, you believe in him, you must be free from this depression. You must be free from these suicidal thoughts. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I do. We are going to I pray do. for you in a few. Tell me more about your financial life. How is your finances? Uh, it's, it's real bad. I've had some bad uh, things that were taken away from me. Uh, I should have gotten. And um, I'm just trying to hang on and, and do the best I can. I know God has everything, everything that we need. He's our uh, tower of power. I Let know me, he has everything. Pay attention here, please. We are going to pray for you. Uh, but before you yes, find sir. a job, you need to be free from this depression. You cannot work if you are depressed. You yes, have no sir. condition to work if you are suicidal. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. So we are going to determine your deliverance right now for you to call us back after this prayer to give us good news because we are going to determine yes, now in seven days you will call us back free. All right? Yes, sir. Can you come close to your TV? Yes, sir. Come close to your TV, please. Put your hands here for mine. Because we are going to pray for you right now. Close your eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Close your eyes. My Lord and my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are here to rebuke this evil spirit. That is my God. Behind of this problem. In her life. Depression, suicidal thoughts, this problem, my God, in her finances. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of depression, I know you can hear my voice. And because you can hear me, I rebuke and I command you now. Get out of her life and never return. In Jesus' name, Miss Mary, open your eyes yes, now. Sir. Open your eyes. Gold and yes, silver sir. I don't have. But what I have, I give it to you. I pass on to yes, you. Sir. Receive life. Be free and be blessed. In Jesus' yes, name. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Amen. Believe in God's power because now he is with you. And your life will no longer be the same. All right? Yes, sir. Keep watching the show. In a few, we are going to bless the water and pray for your family as well. God bless Thank you. you. Have a good one. Thank you. Yes, sir. Be blessed. Prepare your cup of water. In a few, Bishop Joshua will be praying for you. These are results of faith. We are here in the church and I have Miss Regina by my side. One day she was on the other side watching the show and she did want to kill herself, right? Yes, yes. What was the problems or problems that you were facing? Um, my family, my suicide, I wanted my health, financial, everything. I just wanted to give up. How was the family? My family is being torn apart um, like crazy. My son, my daughter, my husband. It was just everything, just fighting. Everybody just wanted to yell and scream, curse, drink, smoke. We did everything. So problems from everywhere. So every area. Yes, every area of my life. So you came to a conclusion to a point that death was the only solution. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. And I grew up in a church, but I just wanted to say, just take me. At this point, I didn't believe anything. You grew up in the church. Of course, you knew the words. 
you knew about God yet you want to kill yourself. Yes, I did. How many attempts? I did multiple attempts on trying to kill myself and I didn't succeed. Okay, we don't have time to go through all of them, but tell us some, some attempts you, you try to kill yourself. Um, I took pills, a lot of um, oxycodone, a lot of uh, 10 ounces, tried to take liquor with it. Um, I tried everything, a knife, everything to try and kill myself. Because just... How did you know about this ministry? I was at the point with the knife and the drugs, everything ready to go. And I had listened to the TV, and now I'm here. In that moment, in that moment, you had the knife, what else you said? I had pills, I had alcohol, I had everything. Anything that would take me out fast as anything. So you had decided that day to kill yourself. Watching the TV, you came into this ministry. What has God done for you? Oh my God, he's got me here standing. He's got me with a smile on my face. My kids are closer to me. They call me all the time. My, my ex-husband, he's very great to me now. We talk. Um, I've stayed in my house. I now have furniture. I have one friend now. And my best friend is Jesus Christ. And God don't mind, he kept me here. Miss Regina, how do you feel inside? Do you want to die or to live? Oh no, I want to live now. Oh no, I want to live. I just want to live and I just want to thank God for saving me. Thank you for being in my life and for God having you and your ministry and the church that I'm with right there in Hempstead, Long Island. Great is your faith. God bless you. So those of you who are watching us, listening to us right now, and you, you want to kill yourself, you want to take your life, before you take your life, do something. Listen to me. Take this life you don't want. The life you want to take, you want to kill. You want to execute this life. Right. Take this life. Bring it here to the altar in this church, the universal church. Nobody wants you. We do. Bring this life as she came, and you are going to see the same result she saw in her life. Miss Regina, God bless you more and more. You can find the Universal Church in all continents. Here's where you can find various locations in the United States. In Texas, 7075 Southwest Freeway, Houston, Texas, 77074. In the Empire State of New York, 1091 Fulton Street, Brooklyn, New York, 11238. In Alabama, 3795 Eastern Boulevard, Montgomery, Alabama, 36116. In the Golden State of California, 1900 West Alondra Boulevard, Compton, California, 90220. In Connecticut, 324 Madison Avenue, Bridgeport, Connecticut, 06604. In the first state of Delaware, 4101 North Market Street, Wilmington, Delaware, 19802. In Illinois, 345 West 95th Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60628. You can find the Universal Church in all continents. For our nearest location, call 1-888-332-4141 or send us a text to 1-888-312-4141. And to receive the address to the location that is nearest to you, you can call the helpline. You saw the numbers. You can send your prayer request through text message. You can even send your questions through text message as well. When you call the helpline, you'll speak with one man or woman of God that you see there on your screen right now. We have Mrs. Brown. She called the helpline asking prayer for her children, also for total healing in her body. Mrs. Brown, your name is here inside of the holy oil. We have Shanika. She is asking prayer for peace in her life. We also have Jerome. He called all the way from Ohio. He is asking prayer for complete and total healing. He wants to be healed 
from seizures. Mr. Jerome and those mentioned, your names are here inside of the holy oil. We do have Miss Lisa who, who left her prayer request on our YouTube page. She is asking prayer for deliverance, for forgiveness, for her family as well. Miss Lisa and those of you who are watching us through YouTube, you can continue to leave your prayer request on the comments below. Take the link, share with a friend or loved one so they can take part of the prayer that Bishop Joshua will make before the end of the program. to leave the boat but he did not end he did not go it's right now receive peace from the Holy Spirit Universal Church all across America. If you are watching us in Dallas, we have the Universal Church also in Dallas. So Pastor Edwin, the church over there is open every single day and everybody is welcome over there, right? Right, Bishop. Every single day, the doors of the Universal Church here in downtown Dallas, Texas are open for all of those who are suffering, for all of those who are depressed, for all of those people who need spiritual help. The church is a spiritual hospital. We are located at the address of 1508 Cadiz Street, downtown Dallas, Texas. We are servicing all of the DFW Metroplex area for those who are living in the north of Dallas, in Richardson, Plano, McKinney, we are here to help all of you. We are one block away from Dallas City Hall, two blocks away from the Dallas Convention Center. Bishop, everyone is welcome to come to the Universal Church here in downtown Dallas. Thank you very much. God bless everybody in Dallas. Why is stay home if you have a church over there? Leave your house, go to the church, and the Spirit of God shall bless your life. The Universal Church, all across America. I have more names of those who are calling right now. Many people are calling the helpline, leaving their prayer requests, sending their prayer requests through text message. Those of you who have been watching and you haven't called, you can feel free to do so. If you want to remain anonymous, you can do so as well. We respect your privacy, but in the same way, give us a call so you can receive the help that you need. We have Miss Phyllis from New York. She is asking prayer for her family. Mrs. Phyllis, your name I'm placing right now inside of the holy oil. We have Mr. Sean from New York. He is asking prayer for his family and for spiritual growth. 
we have Miss Christina who is asked in prayer for good health for her family and financial breakthrough. And also Mrs. Kells, she is asked in prayer for deliverance and for her family to be blessed and protected. Mrs. Kells and those mentioned, your names are here inside of the holy oil. We have many who are sending their prayer requests through text message. Mrs. Jean is asked in prayer for healing. We also have Gary who is asked in prayer for his loved ones and for financial blessing. Mr. Gary and those of you who sent your prayer requests through text message, we will be praying for you. Give us a call, reach out for help because help is at hand. Tell me, what's your name and your problem? My name is Ferry, and I will call it in for a prayer for my home. It's like when I be here and I be in my bedroom, it's like I see shadows walking through my house. Lately, I've been having high blood pressure. They've been trying to keep my blood pressure normal, but it go up and down. You are going to be free indeed. No more shadows, no more voices, and he's going to heal you as well. Today is the day where God will put an end to your suffering, to your pain. God's power will go inside of you to deliver you, set you free. Hey, Miss Ferry, tonight you are going to sleep like a baby. When we say here, less talk and more power, we mean it. I have Mrs. Ferry again with us on the line with the good result. Hello, Miss Ferry. Hey, how you doing today? I am fine, thank you. What about yourself? I heard that you have a good result to share with me. Uh-huh. You know, when you prayed for me last week, you know, I told you about all the shadows and things we were seeing in the house and the way the things were really going on in the house. When you got through praying for me, Jesus, hallelujah. I, I didn't see nothing no more. No more. Everything. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you had told me, you said you're going to be able to rest that night. I've been sleeping real good. I ain't <laughs> been waking up through the night at all. Amen. So you see no more mm -hmm. shadows. You are able to sleep. You know. Uh-huh. Amen. I want you to stay on the line. I have another caller. This one is asking for prayer. Miss Lorraine, she's all the way from Hawaii. Hello. Hello. Hello, Miss. Uh, Hi there. Miss yes. Lo Miss Lorraine. Yes. Tell me, you're from yes. Hawaii, right? Yes, I am. What time is it over there? It's about 2 o'clock in the morning. So you are watching... Uh, the showdown face from Hawaii. Tell me, what, what, yes. how can I help you? Well, um, I have fear. I'm in, yeah, I have depression. Right. And I want, um, if you could pray for my health. Okay, Miss Lorraine, I have Mrs. Ferry on the other line. Hello, Miss Ferry. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Miss Ferry, she was, one day she called us last week. She used to see shadows in the house. She was not able to sleep. But after we prayed for her, now she's saying that she sees no more shadows, no more spiritual attacks, and she's able to sleep. Right, Miss Ferry? Yes. Okay. So, Miss Lorraine, the same God yes. who heard our prayers in the name of Jesus and delivered her, is the same God that will deliver you as well. Right, right. This depression that you have, this health issue, it is going to go away. And just as I said to Miss Ferry, you are going to sleep yeah. like a baby. Now she is resting. I know that you are not sleeping until now, but Miss Lorraine, hey. Yes. You yes. are going to sleep like a baby. I think that's wonderful. 
<laughs> you, yes, you are going to call us back with your testimony. Okay. Because from now on, the Lord delivers you. Alrighty. Can you please get a cup of water or a bottle of water? Okay, I have. Okay. Miss Ferry. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the prayer yes. that you received here in this program, in the name of Jesus, it did work for you. Yes. Okay. We are going to pray right now. Miss Ferry, can you get your water? Yes. Get a cup of water. Everybody watch me from all over America. Hello, America. Get the water. We are going to pray to the Lord right now. And this God will transform your life. Prayer is our communication with God. You watch the testimonies. You heard the word. But now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer. In life we have so much pain no everything is a blue sky against the pain join us online i have mrs ferry online i have miss lorraine from hawaii and you over there, join us in prayer. Get your water, close your eyes. For oh God of the Bible, God Almighty, God that never fails, I am praying this very moment for this person that is in suffering, in depression, like Mrs. Lorraine. This person sees shadows, hears noises, voices, insomnia, like Mrs. Ferry had this problem. Lord, I thank you for healing her, for delivering her. But on the other hand, there is this person that is tormented, is desperate. This person that cannot wait even for a single day, because the pain, the problems are so great. Oh Lord, my God, enter the life of this person. Enter this house. Deliver this person, my Lord. Let this person be healed from the traumas of the past. This PTSD, this stress disorder, the traumas, the events that occurred in the past, but until today this person has the flashbacks and it causes depression, anxiety. Lord, my God, we pray together, my team, pastors, we pray for this person. Enter the hospital, my Lord. Enter right now and take this person out of ICU. Take this person out of this miserable life. Prosper those who are homeless. This person lost everything and everyone. Oh Lord, and because of that, she cannot sleep. This person has this insomnia, nightmares, delirious, spiritual attacks. Deliver this person, Lord, once and for all. I ask you to bless Consecrate this water. Turn it into a holy remedy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, Miss Lorraine. Yes. Over there in Hawaii, when you drink of yes. this water, my God will <laughs> set you free. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I say to you, be free in the name of Jesus. Miss Ferry, drink your water as uh -huh. well. Go ahead. 
Everybody all over America, drink this water. The situation, I believe, I believe. upon the word of God, you stand firm on these words, the Lord hears you, answers you, and blesses you your life. Miss Lorraine? Yes. We have Pastor James in Hawaii. I'm going to pass your information to him, and he's going to take okay. care of you over there. All right? Oh, it sounds wonderful. Yes. I will pass your information to him. We have a church there. The address is there on the screen. And Pastor James. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Pastor, we are also in Hawaii. And Pastor James will take care of you there with his team of faith. Okay. Call me back with a good wonderful. news. God bless you. Have a good one. You too. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Miss Ferry, have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. If you live in the city of New York, we have over there Pastor Márcio, and we are going to be praying in Brooklyn, New York. Yes, Bishop. Our address is 10 at 1, Fulton Street, Brooklyn, New York, between Class and Franklin Avenue. Our zip code is 11238, and our church is open seven days a week. We are here ready to bless this person and also his family, Bishop. Also in Louisiana, in Detroit, in Alabama, Virginia, we have churches all over, and you are able to go and find the spiritual help. Here in Houston, Texas, this is my address, 7075 Southwest Freeway, between Belea and Hillcroft, Sharpstown area. The zip code is there, 770 Seven, four. This church, this place is open every single day. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel, Showdown of Faith TV. And tune in Monday through Friday at 5 a.m. Central Time, 6 a.m. Eastern to watch a show of less talk and more power that teaches you how to fight against your problems with life transformation stories, prayers for you and your family, and a word of faith. What are you waiting for? Subscribe today and don't miss any of our programs.